Right, where do we start? Okay, um, so today's video, uh, I decided that I was going to do like a little review thing. Uh, I was, I've kind of explained this on my Snapchat a few times. Not sure if you're following me on that. If you are, then it's there. Click on it. So, uh, I was going to do an honest review on a short film that one of my friends made. His name's Harry Larter and the film is still out today. The, the, the link will be in the description. So please go check it out if you haven't seen it already. He's recently hit 1k views, so that's perfect. So just keep, keep pushing it up the charts. Maybe one day it might be on the trending page. Maybe one day it might be on the trending page, you never know. So... I wanted to make an honest review because when I watched it, um, I said to Harry that I wanted to make a review on it and I was kind of going to boost its confidence a little bit. So I guess this is what this is going to be. So we're going to do the video in three sections. One, um, what it's about. Two, the my opinion. And three, what I thought could be improved. But this is going to be, I'm going to be honest because that's the sort of thing I wanted to do and that's what I said I would be. So there's also rumours of a subconscious 2, which I think is actually happening this summer. So if you are interested, then make sure you go f subscribe to Harry's channel and you can make sure to check it out. So I'll be back in one second because my camera is about to die. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, I've had a slight costume change. So, and the lighting has changed drastically. So what basically happened is that the camera died and then it had to go on charge, but it took a very long time, so I decided, okay, let's go watch a film. So I just went and watched a film, came back, and this is what we're gonna do. As you can tell, we've got a brand new back screen, we've got a brand new bloody massive light, and um, I'm gonna explain all of this in another video. But for now, we're gonna focus on what this video should have been, which is subconscious. So we're gonna put, as I said, split this into three sections, that's format. We're gonna set it into three sections. We're gonna put first what it's about, secondly what my opinion is, and third what my what my improvements would be. That is just me <clears throat> being honest. Um, there are certain sections of the video that need, I think, that are not as good as others, let's just put it that way. So, uh, what, it, what is it about? It's about a boy called um, Will who is going through a rough breakup and uh, his subconscious, so himself, talks him round how to get over it and so on and so forth. So it's all about his journey of the breakup and getting himself back on his feet. And what I feel that the, um, the intention of it was is just to um, show that a lot of things are hard to get over, but nothing's impossible to get over. That's just because I know from experience what he's been, what the um, character could have been through, and so on and so forth. But um, what I am going to say is that it is based on a true story, because, um, oh, funny, funny story. Okay, so here's a little bit of beef, if you like it. Um, so uh, the the... The reason that this subconscious was made was because of a certain someone that he broke up with. I have gone out with that somebody. So that's how we've got our connection, but um, let's leave that where it is. So the basic storyline, as I said, is about this guy called Will. They've changed names for protection purposes. I'm guessing that's why it's been changed. Not, well, it may have just been preference. I don't really know. So the way that they portrayed it was that um, Will was suffering, he was upset, he was really not that, not very happy, and uh, his subconscious, which is this, um, the, the exact same guy, so this was Harry, um, in a suit, that's how he wanted to portray himself, like saying, come on mate, we can get you back on your feet, and then it, the story progresses to tell you how it happened and how he gets over it, he goes to his friends and, um, talks about it, and um, it all ends up with him realising, okay, yeah, I can get over this. So I think it's a really nice storyline, and I think that uh, he has made a very good effort in making hit this film what it is, and I'm pretty impressed. Okay, going on to the second part of the video now. So, I think, my opinion, this is my full opinion, this can be taken wrong, this could be taken in very different ways, but in my opinion, I loved it. 
that is because I've been in the situation that he has and I can really connect with the Will character. And the way that they portrayed it and the way that it was all done was just really, really good. The editing was incredible and I think that overall the piece is just something that I think it deserves an award, I'm not going to lie, like that, it's, it's solid, it's better than my editing, and then again that isn't hard to, to, to get over because my editing is really shit. But I think that it's really really good and I think that he deserves a lot of credit. It has recently, as I said earlier, um, earlier in the day, um, that um, it hit over a thousand views. Please, if you haven't watched it, go watch it because the more people that watch it, the further into YouTube it will go and maybe one day it might get up onto one of the big channels. So, um, that's it for my opinion and now for the things that need to be sorted. So part three, the things that I think can be improved. Okay, so the things that I think that need to be improved is definitely wind. And I'm sure that you probably have heard this. If you haven't, Harry, then please, please, for, for Subconscious 2, sort out the wind problem. Because that's all I was focusing on. I couldn't hear all of the conversations that were going on because of the wind. I'm not sure if you edited any of it out, but it was quite a struggle to hear in some places. Um, going on to the next bit, I think that the, the acting wasn't horrible but it could have been better that's my opinion again don't destroy me in the comments people who have already watched the video i think that some bits could be improved and some bits were incredible now um i think that there was an overuse of um music in the actual film itself because i get it sometimes you feel like you need to add music to make something feel more meaning like for instance the moment that he breaks up with her the sad music plays and it's just it's that obvious stuff it's not out of the blue it's the okay i, I can i can get the audience in on it here which i appreciate because that is a good way of doing stuff but i feel that some of it could have been avoided in certain scenarios and I think overall it's just an, a really, really good piece. Like, I, this is just Nick Pickety stuff. This isn't stuff that can be, like, taken out of proportion or this is stuff that I just feel, in my opinion, could have been fixed or could be done better. But then again, if you've spent all this time writing a script, making the characters, um, filming it all himself, and, well, I don't know how many people actually did hold the camera, I might need to re-watch the credits, I'm not too sure. But, um, the, the whole entire thing is great. It's just the tiny little details that need to be sorted. But apart from that, I think that pretty much wraps up my opinion on the whole entire subconscious thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to smack a like down below. It really helps the channel out. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe because I'm sure to make some more content soon enough. Um, if you haven't checked out the um, subconscious, I know I keep on about it, but it's such a good video, then please check it out. It's in the description down below. If you would like to, um, you can go check out, um, go and subscribe to Harry's um short film channel and he's also made a behind the scenes of the sub subconscious which I found quite funny myself. So there you go Harry, you've got your flipping review that you've been badgering on about, for, badgering on for me to do for ages. Please don't hate me after this, I still want to do a collab. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, overall I really enjoyed subconscious and I cannot wait for subconscious too. That pretty much wraps up this video so I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you ever so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.